Hi, today's Monday, May 28th, and I wanted to do a garden diary. We had temperatures probably in the 80s, low 80s maybe, mid 80s for most of the week, and we had some um, wind, windy off and on, and then um, this next week it's supposed to already get up into the 90s. So that's something to look forward to. Summer is here. I'm going to start on the east side of the house. The cooler's off right now, so it's kind of quiet. Um, I love this pot already. So pretty with all the little reds in it. You can see this palm tree starting to row I think that this African star flower although it doesn't look like it now at night the little um, flowers come out so I think it's liking it there's um this antenna the Mums are coming out. <laughs> Smells like smoke. Oh, we took down our screens. These were um, screens that rolled up inside of the doorways, and they never worked right. So we took them out. They were in this door, and then this one over here. And so we removed those. And I'm so glad. You can keep it clean, too. We're going to have to cut back the petunias. You can see the gerrymanders getting lots of blooms on it, and the bees are loving that. We took the violas out of these pots just night before last and we planted them over in a bed over by the garden. We needed to get these petunias planted, wave petunias. And we put some wave petunias back in here because we had two extras. And it looks like the agapanthus is going to bloom here shortly and it's going to be a purple one. This antenna is looking healthy. So this one, oh, I'll go around the bridge. There's the moss roses. They look really pretty. There's a little viola coming up. And then I gotta show these lilies. But some pretty lilies. I love those brilliant yellow like that. This is gonna be a. Uh, Lots of flowers. We're loving that we've got lots of flowers. I don't think any of these are real fragrant because I've been over 
I think the attraction is definitely the color because they don't have much of a smell to them, but they're beautiful. And this is where we planted the violas. And you can tell the plumbago is going to make it, those little ones there. And I'm going to probably cut this up, this gazania, it's so big. These marigolds I transplanted, they like it here. The plumbago over here is getting big. It should be blooming shortly. I cut off a lot of the red peppers that were on there, so it's mainly just purple ones right now. I planted some basil over here and it's gonna, it's starting to come up a little green. I've been harvesting some seeds off of this arugula. And then this week we're going to go to Lancaster Palmdale area and hopefully we'll come home with some plants that I can finish out my garden and I'll get rid of all of the arugula by then and probably plant tomatoes in here. Sunflowers are getting tall, and the corn has tassels, which is amazing to me because it's only the end of May. Oh, I'll show my zucchini. And we put some, we tried to stake everything really good for of the wind. That's what we did with these zucchini. We put stakes all around them to keep them from flopping around when we got some gusty winds. One day it was supposed to get really gusty and I think we did have some bad gusts in our yard. And you can see this corn silk showing up. Here's some sunflowers, and then back behind it is spaghetti squash, and then that's um, cucumbers. I harvested a few more strawberries. Look, that chard looks really healthy. I'm not sure what this plant is here. We're letting it grow because it's not anything we're used to seeing. And then this is okra, and I'm hoping the okra starts to get a little bit bigger because this zucchini will take over if it doesn't. I planted some fairy tale eggplant where these little tiny stakes are down this row. Some seeds. And then this is eggplant, but it, the black beauty kind, but it hasn't sprouted, germinated yet, so I don't know. Oh, got competition from the birds. Anyway, peppers. Probably get some more peppers. Then I had some moss roses left over. But all of the 
petunias that we had sitting in here now used up and then I have the ones that my husband got on clearance that I still need to find a home for and then he got this bed ready for me to plant so gotta do that We're going to do a baseball-themed side yard over here. So we have some angel magnets we bought. I have an angel's cap that I got from um, the game that had nachos in it. So I'm going to turn it into some kind of a little pot. So we have plans for this side yard to turn it into like a little baseball-themed patio and kind of clean it up because we like sitting out here but it's also our work area so it makes it kind of hard sometimes oh I transplanted maybe I showed that last week that chard there and I pulled out the marigolds from over here because I wanted to also plant some more cucumbers back here so that's I did put some cucumber seeds back behind here and I did that a couple places and I think I have a video that shows so I think I stuck some cucumber seeds back there so these are getting big This bougainvillea hasn't really, it's just starting to get a little bit of color on it. Anyway, as you can see, lots of flowering going on. I'm really pleased with all the flowers. This is just for my own information. I planted purple basil here, oregano um, right where the stake is here. There's some um, arugula back in here, and then I believe that this little thing coming up is a green basil. That's in this bed. Then. I came over here, and today's the 23rd of May, and I planted where these little stakes are back here, and I think where this stake is here, I planted uh, butternut squash from some seeds that I got at the grocery store. Um, that's kind of what I think I planted back there with that little stake. And that's behind this, these sunflowers. And then down here I planted these yellow straight necks. This is the early yellow straight necks. And I planted them right where these three little markers are right there. And then over in this bed that we have little okra starting. I went down, and most of this is purple okra, so I went down and I put some green okra in. So I did that um, out towards the center again, and I don't know that I, I don't think I staked any of it, so if it pops up, that's why. And then where this little stake is, I planted one of these Black Beauty summer squash. I think they're zucchini, but we'll see. And that's on the edge of this bed. Right there. 
and then on this one these little stakes going down the center are fairy tale eggplants and they're not supposed to get as big so I planted several of those and then this eggplant hasn't really come up yet so that'll be interesting to see what happens and I think that's all I planted this today and it's May 23rd